Hello everyone, welcome back to to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about what it was like when I had my wisdom teeth removed. Now in case you haven't noticed I sound very loopy loopy right now. There's a reason for that. So it wasn't just my wisdom teeth. It was also a supernumeral tooth. And I'm tongue tied, so they clipped a thing underneath my tongue. And they had to stitch it. So, I'm not even gonna lie to you right now, my mouth is a bit sore. I don't feel the greatest, but I feel okay enough to make this video to let everyone know who's going into their wisdom teeth. It's not that bad. Now, I didn't have an IV in my arm putting me into the twilight zone. I didn't have um, I, I didn't have laughing gas, neither. But the first thing they did was they gave me a prescription for Ativan, which is a calming anxiety medication, if I'm correct. I took that at 7 o'clock this morning. It is 1 o'clock in the morning, so technically yesterday. Uh, it's a little irritating to talk like this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I took that two hours before the surgery. At first, I didn't feel anything, and then I started to feel extremely relaxed. Like I was calm. Like, really, really calm. Then I made it to the dentist. I had to wait in the waiting room for about 15 minutes or so. After I waited, they called me back and they brought me into a room in the hospital. Or, the dentist. It was in the back hallway. Now keep in mind, I didn't have any laughing gas or I wasn't in the twilight zone. So I remembered the details quite well. So they laid me down and they took my blood, <laughs> excuse me, they took my blood pressure. After they took my blood pressure, the oral surgeon came in the room and said, Alright, let's get to work. So, he used this tool to open my mouth wider in case I couldn't keep my mouth open wide enough. And then he would get a few needles, or I, I believe they were needles, I couldn't see them for sure. And he would put them in a few different places. Up here near my supernumeral tooth on the other side of my mouth. He put it into where I was tongue tied. And I believe he put it back near my wisdom teeth. He said the first thing we were going to take care of is the tongue. So he had like these little clipper thingies. And he reached in and started clipping at it. Due to the fact that he numb it, I didn't really feel any pain, but I will not lie, I felt a lot of pressure. Was it that comfortable? No. <laughs> it was not comfortable, but it didn't hurt hurt. But it was enough to make me flinch a little bit. Then after that, he stitched up underneath my tongue. I don't think I can show it that well. It's kind of hard to lift my tongue. 
And then after that, it came down to my super numeral tooth. He had this uh, thingy here that was like a small little plier like of tool. And he reached in, he grabbed my super numeral tooth with it, and wiggled it with a little bit of strength, and pulled it. Luckily, it was already pretty fucking broken by the time he had to start working on it, because it broke last year in December. That was my fault for being a stupid ass. It's sad, but it's true. So, he took care of my supernumeral tooth. It came out like a snap of a finger. I didn't even really feel that much pressure on that. It was just pull out and it was gone. And my supernumeral tooth was one of the things that have been causing me a lot of irritation and pain within the past four to seven years. Irritation from the first few years to 2019, or 2020, my bad. And then after it broke, it went from irritation from there being an additional place in my mouth where a tooth is located where it wasn't supposed to be to pain after it broke, causing a nerve to be exposed. Last up, he said, let's get the wisdom teeth taken care of. So this one, there was the most pressure of all. The most. But, even though I felt a lot of pressure, it didn't hurt. None of this really hurt. It just felt a lot of pressure in my mouth. So... What he did was he used a tool and he like dug it into the tooth. Wiggled it and then ripped it out. At least that's what I remember him doing. He could have cut into there just to get it out easier. But from what I felt, I remember something going into the tooth. Like I heard a crack and I heard it enter the tooth. And then I saw him pull it out. Now, I wasn't able to keep the wisdom teeth, but luckily before I left, they were able to show me what the wisdom teeth look like. And I will be 100% honest, that was disgusting. Not only were they a little bit bloody, but they were also gigantic, and I can see why there was so much irritation and pain in the back of my mouth. Now, that all of that is said and done, I just gotta relax. So I'm gonna play video games. I'm gonna, all day when I came home early this morning, I just, I laid in bed. And I just slept all day. Hi, kitty, kitty. Look at the kitty, kitty. She's so pretty. Hmm. I love you, kitty, kitty. <laughs> but I had to keep my head elevated. I didn't brush my tooth yet. Because I, I don't know exactly when it's safe to brush my teeth. I didn't look at the instructions. I just slept a lot. But yeah, getting your wisdom teeth removed, along with the other things I did at the exact same time, it wasn't that bad. Not only that, the day before, I drank a bit of pineapple juice. And I don't know if you can know this, but I, I may be a little swollen. You know? Because they, <laughs> they ripped four teeth out of my mouth. It is what it is. But now after the healing process and everything happens, I'll be a much better person. Anyway, thank you for watching. 
make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot. And that's all I gotta say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.